There is a little eeny teeny fine print warning that Apple doesn't really tell you when purchasing the Apple Watch. So let's just start it out by telling you the story. What's up YouTube? It's your boy, BMAC. It's gonna be another old fashioned style, old fashioned BMAC. It's gonna be another old fashioned BMAC rant style video today. So buckle up, it's gonna be fun. Today, let's talk a little bit more about Apple Watch. Now for those of you who've been subscribed or watching this channel for a while now, you know I've been a big proponent of this little gadget. Up until about a week or two ago when I had a little teeny tiny mishap that put a pretty big dent in my positive relationship with the Apple Watch and Apple in general. Before I start this video, I do want to say I stand by everything I have ever said on this channel about the Apple Watch. I still love this Apple Watch, still love this little gadget. It is a powerhouse of a productivity tool. Everything I've ever said positive about it, I still stand by that. Having said that, however, there is a little eeny teeny fine print warning that Apple doesn't really tell you when purchasing the Apple Watch. Let's just start it out by telling you the story. Truly, truly tragic day. Um, I declined Apple Care on my Apple Watch because I really figured I wouldn't need it. But anyway, I woke up this morning and I, after I'm done working out, I like to like kind of wipe off my watch. It gets sweaty. So I was in the bathroom. Just a little quick little drop on the tile floor. That's it. Done. Over. Gone. So now I'm on my way to the Apple store to see what they could do about this. So lesson learned. R.I.P. BMAC. Apple Watch. Series 1. Actually, I should stop kissing you. I'm probably going to get shards of glass in my lips. Anytime you drop a gadget with a glass face like the Apple Watch or the iPhone, if you don't have a case on it and it hits that hard surface, you know right away two different things. First of all, your heart sinks. It just like roller coasters down into your stomach because you know what's about to come. The second thing is you can pretty much tell right away if your glass screen is shattered or not based just off of the sound of the actual impact of your electronic device to the hard surface floor. With the Apple Watch, that was absolutely no exception. As soon as the Apple Watch dropped to the floor, I could just hear, you hear like a pop. You hear like a popping noise, which you know is just the entire front screen of your electronic device just completely spider webbing, shattered. So I heard that pop and it just, oh, it hurts my heart just thinking about it. The Apple Watch is face down on the floor. I turn it over and lo and behold, a nice little spider web of an Apple Watch face I had there. And I do not have Apple Care on this Apple Watch because at the time of purchasing the watch, I thought to myself, all right, $50 for Apple Care, and then it's subject to, I believe it's a $70 or is it $70? $69, so $70 service fee for the Apple Watch and Apple Watch Night. I think for the edition, it's $10 more than that, $79. So out the door, $120. Bucks. But I didn't have Apple Care. I knew that was a bad start. So I do what you're supposed to do. You make a Genius Bar appointment, and you bring in your damaged Apple product to the Genius Bar. You kind of tell them what happened. After having a very nice conversation, I love going to the Apple Store. After talking to the Genius there, you know, you get all kind of like geeked out. You talk to the Genius, like, oh, about the new products coming out, whatever. After a nice little 20-minute conversation with the tech, and you know, making it sound like, oh, no big deal, yeah, we can fix this. It's you know, I've seen this before. He slaps me with what would be a $199 flat repair rate. $199, just to, just to fix a little bit of a shattered glass. Now, I know people are gonna say, well, it's your fault. You dropped the watch 100%, but still, out the door, $120 to fix a shattered Apple Watch face? Or $199 if you don't have Apple Care? That's ridiculous. That is, that's, oh, $199 if you don't have Apple Care, that's like two thirds the price of a brand new Apple Watch. What are these going for these days? I think like 300, 300 something. I'm like, are you kidding? I'm a, I, I was like, what? $199 just to fix the little shattered glass on this Apple Watch. Now listen, I'm a huge Apple fan, that's no secret. But I hate when I positively review or talk about a product on this channel and then have some kind of negative experience that I can't just let go. So basically, I'm gonna make this video as a warning. If you are an Apple Watch owner without Apple Care, just be careful, because if you break your Apple Watch, it's gonna be $199, no budging, to fix your shattered Apple Watch face if you drop it on a tile floor, if you slam it against a weight, if you're diving through with a finish line on a 10 mile run, whatever it is. If you somehow damage your Apple Watch, it is a flat rate repair cost of $199, just to fix this girl. If you have Apple Care, you already spent the $50 on Apple Care, but it's subject to a $69 service fee in addition to the Apple Care cost 
to get it fixed as well. Let's just compare that for a second. $199 or $120 with AppleCare to fix the glass on your Apple Watch if it shatters. Now, whereas nowadays you can pretty much get your phone, whether it's the plush or the regular size, it depends, but anywhere between like $100 and $150. $199 for a device that's an eighth the size of an iPhone screen, and you gotta charge $199 to fix this, but probably a max of $150 to fix the phone? This doesn't add up. Take the fact that the phone costs $1,000 and the watch costs like $300, the percentage do you see what I'm saying here? I just want to put that into perspective here because this is the problem. Like I've said, I still love the Apple Watch. I think it is a great little device. I'm still going to use it now that I got it replaced. Just know that if you have the Apple Watch with or without Apple Care, it's a pretty hefty price to fix if you shatter your screen. If you don't have the Apple Watch and you're thinking about getting the Apple Watch, you probably want to consider getting Apple Care. And even if you don't, just know it's a pretty hefty cost to get this thing fixed. Now, I do know they make cases and screen protectors for the Apple Watch, but I'm not trying to have a huge case on my Apple Watch. Like, I want it to be slim, just want it to be as is, just not so damn breakable. And I understand that dropping it onto a tile floor is not exactly normal use, that's not typically happened, but if I had slammed it hard enough against a door or a door handle or a weight or something like that, same thing could probably easily happen. Just saying. So Apple, if you're watching this, please make the repair, replace cost of the Apple Watch, please make that a little bit more reasonable. You have a device, the Apple Watch, which is kind of still in its developing stages of becoming a normal device that everyone's purchasing, but you're throwing a $199 service fee on that to get it fixed if you don't have Apple Care, or $70 plus the 50 if you do have Apple Care. That makes me think I gotta walk around with my hand on my Apple Watch all the time now. When I'm working out, just cover it up. Don't even look at the time. It's an Apple Watch. You gotta cover it up, because if this thing shatters, Buck 99, just like that, go on, out the door. So having said all that, for everyone else watching, just kind of take this as a friendly warning. I still love the Apple Watch, but just know, be careful, because even though Apple's marketing it as a sports watch with a sports band and all that, it's still a high-tech device that has a very high cost if you're gonna get it fixed as a result of accidental damage. If you wanna see all the reasons why I still do love the Apple Watch, an annotation will pop up right up there. Go ahead and check it out. That's my Apple Watch review video. You're gonna like it. For those of you who are either considering or have the Apple Watch, just be careful and know. Consider this a warning that it's actually a pretty hefty price tag to get this Apple Watch fixed if you shatter the screen or do other some kind of accidental damage to it. Flat rate repair cost of $199. Which I guess that means I gotta cut ice cream out of my diet for the next two months. JK, that will never happen. So I hope you guys appreciate this little warning about purchasing the Apple Watch. I still recommend you look into getting it, but just know, gotta be a little bit more careful than you probably thought you could be with an Apple Watch sports watch, because clearly, what could happen? In the meantime, continue to fall in love with the Apple Watch, but just kind of treat it like a, like a pet alligator. I don't know where this metaphor is going. Fall too much in love with it to get a little too careless, could end up losing an arm. Which is basically the same as a $199 service charge. Losing an arm or a leg, $199. You get what I was going for there. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that thumbs up button for me, and I will see you tomorrow. Hey Siri, why are you so fragile? Oh, you are one sassy, sassy girl. <clears throat>